everyone. Happy New Year. I uh, hope your holidays were good and uh, everyone stayed safe. Uh, I do hope that you had some time to play some guitar and uh, uh, look forward to this year um, and hopefully more opportunities to, to play music. Um, the lick that you saw me play at the very beginning of this video is a, a, a Lonnie Johnson idea. Uh, it works well over the one chord, it works well over shuffles, and it'll work well in a solo context in the way that I played it. Um, if you pull up uh, Lonnie's early playing where he's playing solo and playing kind of these, these set pieces uh, that are kind of athletic, you'll hear this uh, idea repeated over and over again. It's not horribly difficult, and I think it's going to be easy to be able to uh, assimilate into your, your uh, picking. Um, so anyway, here it is. This idea is going to be in the key of E and it's going to be utilizing the C structure E. And as I noted before, it could be used in a band context and in a solo context. Uh, I'm going to play the idea without uh, utilizing the uh, dead thumb and I'll put it all together for you. So you got to be starting with the five with the index finger to the six. So let's take that phrase. Now you got to be shifting up to the um, A flat. Sorry, the G sharp. And what that does is momentarily put you into the uh, A structure. So the three of uh, of E. Hit the five and the six. Now you got to go back and you got to bend from the nine to the raised nine. One more time. Now, if I use a dead thumb, the way that I like to use it is I hybrid pick. Um, I do use a thumb pick uh, periodically, but I do feel more comfortable using a kind of a hybrid picking uh, pattern um, or method. And so the downbeat's gonna be no bass note, because I'm gonna try to hit on uh, four on the floor. One and Now, I might be doubling up, uh, especially at the end when I'm doing the bend. It's kind of one of my Achilles heels. Now, when I go to my four chord, um, to give at least to give you a full 12 bar cycle, I am going to be using the E structure A.
which is nice because the C structure and the E structure overlap. So let's try this in context. So if I play it solo, it'd be... Now, if I decide to use kind of a Jimmy Reed lump, if I go and set that as the feel I want, I can still put that E chord lick in there. So I think that idea will be uh, simple enough to kind of get into your uh, playing. Um, a couple things I want to, uh, I think that would be useful for you, um, is that you can be able to take some of the other Lonnie Johnson lessons that I have and be able to apply those. Um, breaking um, from a, a dead thumb to purely single notes, I think does sound nice if you go. <laughs> I think is a nice idea. Last note, um, I want to introduce uh, my new guitar I picked up uh, from my friend Deke Dickerson. It's a 1930s Cromwell uh, made by Gibson and uh, it has um, some uh, deluxe uh, features on it that some of the other ones didn't have, mostly the checkerboard binding which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're looking for uh, a cool uh, budget orientated uh, you know, acoustic arch top, uh, I would recommend something like this. Huge neck, no truss rod, which I think has a lot to do with the tone. Um, press top, and it's uh, not parallel braced like my L7, but it's uh, it's an X braced. And uh, it has braces on the bottom too, but you can take a look at the back. Um, so I believe it's mahogany, sides and back. And then I think... Uh, forgot what the top is. I have to take a look at it. But uh, incredible guitars and uh, hope uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, very cool. I'll talk to you guys next month. Take care.